over on um, the Little Ink YouTube channel. She's doing a altered book, and I really like the idea, and I really liked um, how it how it turned out. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the same idea today. When I was in the charity shop, I managed to pick this up, which is um, a gardening techniques book. Now I've not picked this up for any reason um, other than. I'll just tell you, like for altered books, this is what I personally look for. I'm going to remove this dust cover sheet for now. And then you'll see that underneath is this lovely, um, you know, lovely cover, hard cover that I can gesso over if needs be and alter. Um, so that's going to be really easy to use. Secondly, what I look for in the book is, I don't know whether you can tell, but these pages aren't slick. They're like really, um, you know, they're quite rough and they feel, they feel like just normal paper. Um, if the pages are slick, I find it really hard to do any journaling on them. I have done this before, but I've done it with um, sort of like um, textbooks as opposed to, not, not textbooks, sorry, with reading books, you know, just normal fiction books and stuff that I've... I've that I've used and I don't need anymore. So I'm gonna try it with this instead. Now, another thing that you're looking for when you're gonna alter a book is that the signatures, which are, a signature is the way that a book is made. So each book is made up of various different signatures. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get, so to make sure that you've got a book that is um, sort of stitched in, you can see all the different signatures in it there. So, let's get that in shot. Super. Can you see all the different signatures in it there? It sort of like goes round and you can see a centre to the signature. Now if you go to the centre of one of those. Here we go, let's have another little look you will see that it is stitch bound and that's the best kind of book to get. The centre of that signature there. Okay, can we see that? Yeah. And then if I bring this up, you can see that it is stitched in here. The stitches that are in the um, binding. Now, the reason why you have stitched in is because it's better than um, a lot of books now are actually glued in and they're not as secure so what I do then is you have to try and what you've got to do is get rid of some of the pages so it's not so chunky the book isn't I mean you're going to be getting it quite bulky so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the centre of each one of those signatures like I just said the centre is, you could see it because of the stitches there. And for example here, what I'm going to do, because you know that's the centre there, it's going to pull out that page and that page. And then you can just rip it out. The reason why I do that is now, if imagine if I would just not take it from the centre and I'll just rip this page out here it's going to mean that the page that's opposite it is going to get weak you know because it's not going to have the other end to it so personally I like ripping it from the centre um, and taking the pages out so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the centre of each signature my apologies I am crafting in my pyjamas as per usual um, so take it from the centre, these pages will be used so don't worry, I mean I've got some lovely flowers on them. I'm going to take two pieces from each signature and then I will have a little look at how I am getting on. These first front few I'm going to leave in because they're together so that's fine. So let's have a look for the centre of this. Some of these pages as well, you want to, um, you know, have a look at them before you start doing artwork on them. For example, 
this page here oh gosh they give myself a paper cut that page there i mean i don't think i'm gonna do i would love to leave that in because i mean that's pretty by itself and maybe i'll just alter it with some um with some pen some gel pen or something and make something of that and then maybe put maybe a few pictures of the family on this side because when i was watching the link she did loads of um she really inspired me because in her journals as well she's got pictures and photographs of her family and, and i think that's a lovely idea to incorporate into your um, journaling this isn't going to be um a neat book by no means it's not going to be perfect but the aim is to just you know make it so that it's just a nice book to work in so I'm going to go off camera now and prepare the book because it's a bit boring watching me just rip out signatures. And then I'm going to have a go at doing a few pages. But then as you can see, I've removed quite a few pages from that. You know, they've all gone. So the book now is looking more like this. Let's get that into focus. So, looking like that. I've took some from the centre and then, um, you know, from the centre of the signature and then gone either side as well, like and skipped one, sing one sort of like flat sheet and then took a bit more out as well. So, now that I've got the book a little bit like I want, the only problem was is that in the process when I was ripping pages out, I didn't realise that this was the other side of one of them so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna tip this in that's like when you've got a sheet and you want to sort of like attach it in so i do want that sheet back in so i'm going to look through here and find a page that's not so pretty this one for example i'm just gonna have that like that and then I'm going to rip down, I'm not going to be very um, very precise at all with this journal, it is going to end up looking lovely, but you know I'm not going to be very precise. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue that there. And then I am going to stick this sheet on top and then that means that I have that lovely base picture to work on still. I was a bit gutted when I realised that I'd pulled that out by accident but you know all sorted now not a problem. Let's just make sure that it's stuck right into it. I don't want it sticking out the edge. So let's make sure that I might get it into the, there as much as possible. So, that's stuck back in now and I can use that just like a normal piece. I'll have a little look and see whether there's any more pieces that I would like to do that to. So from this, this is the wad that I have took out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go through these as normal. I will cut out all of those. I mean, that's quite a nice picture. So I might decide to have that as another tipping one that I put in because you could journal around that that's a lovely picture um, so I'm going to have a little look through these see whether there's any more I want to tip in see whether there's anything that I'd like to cut out for example there's some flowers you know that are really pretty so I'm going to cut that out of that one so I'll look through these and see whether there's anything of interest right there so after looking through those, I've got some things that I would like to, I've got some things that I want to cut out, such as these flowers, 
you know have a little look at the book that you do buy you know if it has got some nice images in i'm going to cut these out as well nice image there that's going to be a tipping page i'm going to cut these oh no no that's another tipping that one is i'm going to cut that out i'm going to put that in cut these images out as well a nice little garden there and a nice garden there with some nice flowers in the center i'm going to put those out and another page that i'm going to tip in as well so have a little look at your book as well you know the pages that you do take out because look how many pages there are already that i'm going to repurpose and reuse i mean we all know <coughs> we all know we all know that i will end up using all of these pages <laughs> in the end um, you know, because they will they will come in useful. I'll print on them and jelly plate on them as like you know use them on my jelly plate as well if I want to. That's something that I do quite often. So we shall wait and see how it goes. So I'm going to tip these other ones in exactly the same as I did with the other one, and um, I shall get back to you when I start journaling in it. And thank you very much for the little link for giving me some inspiration to get started on this, and I can't wait to get started.